Hi everyone, it's April with Hair 101 and I'm excited today because we have a beautiful redhead model here. Look how gorgeous her hair is and it's thick and gorgeous and I love it. And she wants to have a little bit more lightness like a balayage technique in the ends. You can see underneath is really dark and she wants to have the dark in the back pull down a little bit more. So we want to do a little bit more dramatic of this balayage. It looks like she had just highlights that grew out and we want to transition into a red blonde balayage. In order to achieve this today, her hair's obviously been lightened before and to lighten this more, I was nervous and I thought uh, I'm gonna need something else. So I got the Olaplex. This is my first time trying it. Let's see if it's really worth all the hype because I spent a lot of money on this stuff. So I'm gonna be mixing this in with the Fermi CD color cream and I thought normally I would do like a 20 volume or 30 volume on this part back here, probably 30. And so I'm gonna have to bump it up a volume because that's what, like this dilutes the developer a little bit and makes it take longer to process. So you bump it up even more, like a whole level more than you normally would use. So. If I would use 20 or 30, now I'm using 30 or 40, so um, that makes me nervous, but let's see. Are you nervous? No. She's a hairstylist too, so. <laughs> yes, okay, here's the disclosure with the Olaplex. It is not a magic wand. It does not, like I've read all the stuff on it, it's not a miracle. You can't put it on someone's hair that's already bubble gummy falling off with bleach and expect it to still be there. But her hair feels healthy, it's fine. It's still really strong. It doesn't feel like there's any elasticity problems. So I would feel comfortable lightening this with a 20 volume developer, um, just a little bit more. And the way that I'm gonna work on her hair is going to be from the darkest part in the back, obviously first with the higher volume. And then up in the front, I'd be using the lower volume just around her face because it doesn't really need a 40 volume on the ends. This could be a 10 or 20. So I'm gonna have to mix up two different batches of bleach and then for the deepening back here, just to pull in a little bit of dimension, we're gonna do just a few chunks here and there that kind of pull down the dark. And I'm gonna be using the Shades EQ and I'm using the 6AA. And that is going to be a little bit more red, vibrant than her natural hair, but I think it's gonna be pretty to have some like dimension and, and low lights and a little bit different color in there. So let's get started. Okay, so when you're mixing the Fermisi, 20 grams, they say, is about four strips along the bottom of the bowl. So I did eight strips in this one that's going to be the 40 volume bleach, and I did four strips in this one, and I'm going to mix that with 20 volume bleach. And this one's going to be the one that's already on her pretty light hair. This one's going to be going on all of the dark red. So with this Olaplex, this is kind of fun. I'm excited to try this. There's this little reservoir and it has the measuring on it. So this is an eighth of an ounce and a fourth of an ounce. I need like a half of an eighth of an ounce for this first one because it's like just that much because it's not quite the right, like it's 20 grams. And for 45 grams, you're supposed to mix um, an eighth of an ounce. So I'm halving it. So there we go. There's the math on that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab some hair here. We're gonna start, start to balayage it and I'm gonna make sure that the bleach is really nice and thick. And we're gonna start in here and just draw the lines. And then I'm gonna put a foil underneath here. And paint it onto the ends. And then I like to kind of feather it up. This is the 40 volume with the Olaplex and it's the Fermisi color cream. So I want to make sure that I'm leaving these pockets of dark in the back of her hair. 
So let's make sure that the sections aren't too thick. So that's why I'm doing these V sections and I'm trying to leave some dimension through her hair. So the ends are pretty saturated and then you just kind of feather up into these blended lines that you did down. And if the bleach kind of like goes a little bit higher, sometimes I put a foil. I like to have the foils to where it starts so that there's no bleeding through. And you can just kind of layer them. And they're easy to kind of pick up and see what's happening. You can kind of check and see. So I'm not having to use the 6AA yet because we're still looking good as far as her dark, it looks like it's dark from the roots to end, so we're okay there. We're just working on lightening up right now. And I always like to do the edges a little bit higher because those are going to swing and be around her face. And then I like to do this middle one lower because that's going to be in the back and I like to have that shape of dark. to the blonde parts of her hair and I want to start adding a little bit of the dark in so I'm going to take um, and this is really runny so I need to make sure I shove a foil underneath so I'm just going to hand paint on a few darker pieces and this is the Shades EQ and I'm just kind of feathering it down and it will run into the bleach. They're going to need to overlap a little bit, but it's okay because the bleach will eat through the color and it will be fine. So if you left a, like a gap in between, then you would have like, you would see where the color ends and the bleach starts. So that's why I like to make sure that they match up. So now that I have that dark piece on, I can lift it up again and tighten it up. And this is where we're going to take the 20 volume since she has some light in her hair over here and we're just going to paint it on kind of how we were before. Obviously not where the dark is because we want that to stay dark. And then on the ends, we're going to just blend it in, lightly skimming over that section with the dark in it. And she did want it a little bit lighter anyway, so it'll be good that we're bleaching a little bit more of these ends just to get it a little bit lighter on the bleach. All right. So now I'm going to be making sure that I'm leaving the sides of her hair out so that I can do those. Um, where they would naturally fall, and I'm just going to be working on the back section. And again, I'm going to try to do a few little pieces of the 6AA, the Shades EQ. So put a foil in here. And I'm making sure I go all the way up to the section because I don't want it to bleed through.
So I'm not going to put the dark on this one. I'm just going to leave it with the blonde. Because I feel like it, that's why. All right. All right, so this is when I definitely want to put the dark on. You can see that it's light from here. I'm going to try to get the dark down in here just a little bit more. And on this one, I'm bringing it down quite a bit. And the ends are still, like, they're pretty light, so I'm just barely brushing it on a few dark spots. So that one should be good. So now you should just be thinking, like, what's, what do I need to change? What's already right? What already looks like it's supposed to look? And what needs to be changed? And mostly up in here, it's adding in the dark a little bit and then lightening up a little bit of the ends so that it doesn't look like it has the weave all the way to the ends. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep adding a little bit of dark. Yeah, sometimes I just stick a foil in here and it keeps it up if the foils are slipping a little bit. That's pretty light. That might already be good. I'm just going to add a little bit of dark on this one, not even do any light. just to eat some of that bleach up, or the color up. So I'm just going to take diagonal sections and pull it forward. And where is my clip? There, we'll just use that one. So with it being around her face, I'm not going to add any dark in here. I mostly wanted it to be in the back, and I'll maybe add a couple pieces up through here in the top. But with this, I'm just looking through and finding the dark spots. This is really light still. I'm not even going to bleach that, really. I'm just going to kind of go through and pick out any chunks that look like they're a little bit too dark. Because if it's already the color we want, there's really no reason to bleach it. We're not going to do that to her hair. And this is pretty simple. You just and you know what, I'm going to use the 20 because look how light her hair is around her face. It doesn't need the 40 over here. And just blend in that line so it's not super harsh. I'm going to reposition this a little bit. I know. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just going to fold it on this one. So here's a few pieces that are still kind of dark. And I'm kind of just weaving them out because that's all we need to do. So here on the top, I'm just going to take a little bit of the dark through the top of this. 
So I'm putting a foil close to the scalp and then just painting a little line. And then to make sure it blends, I'm taking a little bit of lightener, the 20 volume, and just putting it on the ends to blend it in between there. So we're going to hurry and do the other side, same thing, and then we'll be done. So we are done. I've placed the color where I want it and I'm just going to let her process until this color back here is as light as I want it and it's still like you need to check the elasticity. It feels awesome. I'm so impressed by the Olaplex actually so far because look it's still pretty light. It was like dark red and look at it now and it still feels good. So we're going to let her process a little bit longer so these front pieces can catch up and then we'll check back. Teach me how to cut it, teach me, teach me how to cut it. Hey. Teach me how to cut it, teach me, teach me how to cut it. Hey. I'm gonna rinse her hair now because it's donezo. Did that hurt? And you just rip the boils out as hard as you can. Sorry. Try to be soft. And this processed for like a 30 minutes after I was done with the last section. So that's enough for the shape DQ to be done, and it's enough for these 20 volume light pieces around the face. See, they look nice. Everything looks light enough, so we're gonna rinse it out. I'm rinsing her hair out as soon as I get all the color rinsed well. I'm not gonna shampoo, I'm gonna do the number two. Ew, gross. Why did they name it that? <laughs> what is this? Why did they name it number two? Okay, so after I get done rinsing her hair, I'm gonna put the number, I can't say it. <laughs> Number two, um, numero dos on her hair. And then we're going to let it process for 10 minutes and then wash it with shampoo and condition it. So after you put the number two on, you're supposed to comb through it once. And I have my wet brush, love this thing. It brushes through wet hair so easy. So I'm just making sure it's all the way through. You can sit up a little bit. There's one thing I don't like and it's waiting 10 minutes. So. That's the thumbs down for number two. Number two takes a long time. Like it's been four minutes and it feels like it's been an eternity. <laughs> so number two, but you know what? Maybe it'll be worth it. So let's just hang in there and see. I made it the full 10 minutes. Number two is done and we are gonna wash and condition now. And it feels really good. I sprayed developer all over my new shirt. What should I do? Oops. All right, you guys, I started blow drying it a little bit and I was like, you know what, this is a little bit too orangey and so I'm going to tone it and I'm going to use the 8T. I'm just going to mix it up really quick. One half of an ounce, or I'll just do an ounce. I'm going to feel crazy. We'll do the whole bottle. See, it's all gone now. One ounce to one ounce and... I stir it with my finger because I'm crazy like that when I'm toning. You're not supposed to do that. And I'm just gonna work it through her hair. And I kind of blue dry it a little bit, so that's good because it'll take really well. And then go ahead and lay back. And sometimes if I feel a little bit crazy or if I need more color really, I just shove the hair in this little dish and soak it all in because I need it all. And that's totally okay. I'm using the Matrix Oil Wonder Flash blow dry because I wanted to blow dry really fast. Okay. It really blow dry faster. Yes, it. it really does. Maybe and it smells like Christmas, so. Do you notice? Yeah. Mmm, Christmas. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it smell like Christmas? It smells like It's like cinnamon. It smells like Christmas. It smells like cinnamon. Home for the holidays, Christmas. We're just doing some flat iron curls. If you want to see the whole video on this, you can click the link below. All right, you guys, we are done. Here's the finished product. We'll give her a little spin. You can see these little low light chunks. I'm really loving those. They're fun. 
And she has a lot of blonde around her face. What she wanted. Okay, so my thoughts on the Olaplex. I actually am really impressed with it because considering this hair down here had 40 volume bleach on it for like an hour, it doesn't feel like I did anything to it. It's incredible. I'm actually really, really impressed. So double thumbs up for Olaplex. It's everything everyone says it is and some. I'm like, I didn't have one piece of her hair fall out. Not one piece in the bowl, not one piece while I was brushing through it, nothing. Feels like I didn't do anything to it. So yeah, awesome guys. I hope you like this. Let me know what you think. Go and try some Olaplex. It's an arm and a leg, but you charge for it. Definitely make sure you're charging for it. It suggests on the pamphlet to charge between $10 and $30 extra per mix or color application, whatever you're doing. So make sure that if you're using it, you explain to them why it's important and they will notice the difference too. Like this is really incredible. She's a hairstylist. She knows that this is not something that you can just expect after 40 volume bleach for an hour on hair. All right, you guys, make sure you guys subscribe and please go and check out April's Life because we are daily vlogging and it is a ton of fun. We have lots of fun there. So make sure you guys are following me everywhere. We're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, lots of love on YouTube. Give me some comments and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.